Hello, welcome back to Design Tutorial. My name is Prabhakar, and in this tutorial, we are going to see that how we can create a custom management commands uh, with the help of uh, Django. Uh, first of all, what is the Django? So, Django is a free and open source web application framework which is written in Python and it offers a big collection of modules that make a development easier. They are grouped together and allow you to create applications or a website from existing. and stuff from scratch and in this example we can see this how we can Django uh, custom management commands so uh, so how uh, we have to actually uh, maintain the folder structure for creating the management commands so for that uh, this is my folder uh, folder structure it is in my project and uh, it is in my app my app so inside of my app so I have a set of uh, files are there so we can this and views and the test and uh, so inside that, so I have to create uh, the management folder. The management folder. So management and uh, inside that, so we have to uh, create one more folder, a predefined folder is called the uh, commands. So these are the, the naming convention we have to follow as it is recommended. So then after that, so here, uh, so we can write our own command, so based on our requirement. So in this example, I'm taking example for uh, writing an application uh, and writing a command. So with the help of this command, we can create uh, a 10 different uh, super users when you run this command. So this uh, custom management command applications can register their own actions with the manage.py. For example, you might want to add a manage.py action for the Django app that you are distributing. So if you if you Google it, so you can see that, okay, so th this is how you can create a management command and uh, so I'm actually following the same folder structure and uh, the same example I'm using it and I'm, I'm clicking something on this so that uh, so we can uh, we can uh, we can customize it for as per our requirement so let's create a sample project a Django sample project and then see how it will work uh, custom management command So here I'm creating a folder called Django. Django, and uh, creating a project, start project, Django. <coughs> Management underscore commands. This is my project. So okay, or uh, maybe I can I can say <coughs> this is my uh, sample project. So I created a project. <coughs> and uh, so if I go to the sample project, so inside that, this is in my folder structure. So now I'm creating an app, uh, the, which exactly uh, similar to, uh, which follows that this is the one. Uh, th this is the folder structure, like my underscore app. So here I'm creating an app, ns.py start app, my underscore app. So now I created a project and I created an app. So let me open it in the editor. So here is my project. So I created a project and uh, my app. So now I'm registering this app. So inside my settings oh, okay. under installed apps, my underscore apps. So I register that. So then after that, so now my application is registered in this section. So now what I can do is, so uh, inside this section, so as I described, so we have to maintain the folder structure uh, for the specific app. So under this section, so I'm creating one more folder called management, management. Okay, so this management is a module. So that's why I'm creating a file under that is underscore underscore in it dot underscore dot py file. And under that management, so again, we have to create a folder name called a command. So where we have to keep all our commands also inside that folder structure. Right click on the management and create a new folder and commands. 
So again, this command is itself is again the module. So I'm creating the same file underscore underscore init underscore dot file. So now overall my folder structure creation is done. So now it's a time to create a command here. So if you want to create a command uh, like a sample, is my command. So we have to create a file name called a sample.py file. So if I want to create a uh, the command with the refresh, so I have to create a file name called refresh.py file. So I can go to here in the commands. Now uh, here I'm taking example for creating uh, 10 different users. Uh, with the super user, super admin access. So here, what I can say, so I want to create a team. I can say, uh, create a team.py. <laughs> here is uh, my uh, file and my command. So that this command I can invoke uh, python manage.py and uh, create team so that uh, this function, uh, this file will get executed and uh, we can add more data on this. So <clears throat> after creating that, so I'm copying this entire data and paste it here. So this example, which is actually designed for the polls, the predefined example, so that, that, that that's why I don't require this option here. And even I don't require the arguments part here. And this part actually I'm deleting it here. So here I'm simply returning the true, okay? <coughs> So here, uh, I can specify the help document on this command for creating entire team with super user access. Okay, this is how I can I can create that. So now I created that. So after creating the command, so now it's time to check it. So before testing that, so it is recommended to do the migration. So that so it will create all the required tables. So then only so we can go ahead and then run and then test the, our command. So for that, I'm migrating the changes. So it will create all default required tables. So it has created a different tables for the session management and users and groups, a lot many things. Then after that, so now I'm, I'm I'm testing that my command. So let me increase the font size. So here I'm trying this command is manage.py and uh, the command name is a create team. So if I if I say create team, so I'm not doing anything here. So it is returning a true. The true is which is actually I was I have defined uh, inside this section. Okay, so uh, now it's time to create a multiple users here. So there is an API which is already available from the Django for doing the user management. So that I can use dot Django and the country dot earth dot the models import user. So this is the API which I can use directly for creating and uh, for managing the users. Now, first of all, let's try to create a one user so then after that we can go for additional users so here i'm i'm creating that okay users dot objects dot create and if i use dot create so it will create a user without a super user access <coughs> this user can't access uh, admin console so for uh, accessing the admin console you have to use the the method name called create a super user I can go here and username. Here I'm specifying it as a Prabhakar. And uh, so here, so the password is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm again using it as a Prabhakar. And here I can specify the email ID here. So email ID, I'm using it as the Prabhakar at the top gmail.com. So now I created a user with the following, uh, following, following parameters. So now if I, if I try to run the same command again, okay. So if I run the same command again, the user will get created on the system with the following these parameters. Okay, so let's check it again. Now my command executed successfully. Let's try to check whether your application is running properly or not. Then uh, check that 
whether you are able to access your admin console with the help of the following credentials. Okay, so let me open the uh, window. So now my application is up and running. Okay, so if I if I go to this uh, the site, so here what I can say is so Prabhakar and password is Prabhakar. So now I'm able to log in it. So my user got created under this section. So this is the user. So now let's take an example. So I want to run. I want to create a ten people at a time. What I can do? So here I'm running a loop. Okay. So in range, or maybe you have a set of people, so you can maintain as a list, and then you can you can iterate it. So as a file. So here I'm running it for the ten users, and uh, so I'm creating it for the ten users. Okay. So here I can say uh, it's a user, and uh, I'm appending some string here. Okay. So that uh, it will create a user one, two, three, four, five. And the password again, I'm using it for the same as uh, the user. So if required, we can generate it randomly. So as per the requirement. So uh, whenever you try to create uh, this kind of loop, so what it can do that is it will create a 10 different different users. And um, these all users can get added into the system. So now save the changes. And if I run this command again, OK, so let me let me or, let me open this another command from okay one command from for running the server and one command from for running the command okay so here the same command i'm using it minus and create team okay this is the command which i'm running and the below here uh, my server is up and running so, uh, so here, if I if I run this command, <coughs> it will create <coughs> ten different users with the super admin access. Okay, user zero to nine. Okay. Let's run this. So, for running this command, we don't require to run the server. So, this will be handled by the DJ, handled by Django automatically. So now my command got executed. So if I go here and if I refresh the changes. <coughs> Here I, here I can see that, okay, so there are 10 more users got created on the system, okay. This is how uh, we can uh, create a dynamic array for the 10 users. At the same time, so if I want to add uh, one more command for clearing all the team members, so what I can do, I can copy the entire, the same file as it is, and I'm renaming this file, something like it's a based on your requirement, like a clear team, okay. So instead of adding a user here, what I can do, so I can delete the users. So I can say user dot objects dot all users, okay, and dot delete. So now remove this section, and here I can display the message as okay, all users deleted successfully. And uh, for the creating the users, what we can do? Successfully created. Not all number of users. Okay, this is how I have created that. Now, let me run the clear part here. Okay, so clear team, clear team, so which actually uh, delete all the users from the system. Then I will run again the create team so that uh, it will create again the 10 more fresh users from scratch now. So you can see this, all the users got deleted. Then again, if I run the clear create team, so this uh, code snippet will get executed and uh, so it will uh, add uh, 10 more new users from the system.
three successfully created a 10 more different users. So I can use the same user credentials for accessing uh, my system. So if I if I go here and if I refresh and go to user one and user one. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is my friend. So uh, this is the command so which we can use it for performing any DB operations or performing any kind of operations like uh, cleaning up the Check data or adding some more information or doing the pre checks or doing the authentication. So, uh, any kind of prerequisite stuff, so you can create your own custom custom command. So, where you can perform uh, your management, you can perform and execute your management commands. So, as per your requirement. Thanks for watching this. Thank you.